Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Instead of just understanding concepts, you'll learn how to implement them directly into your driving. What makes it effective is the approach and practical drills. Together, we're gonna focus on breaking down those complex concepts into small digestible bits that are simple to understand. Everything from the course was tested and refined during the years in coaching sessions, so what I ended up with was the ones that I saw were the most effective. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. It's far from a perfect lap. I did a lot of mistakes and I will point them out. I didn't have enough time to redo the lap, but this lap can be half a second quicker with some small adjustments. So I will point them out. Now, heading into turn one, what we want to do is to open up the entry by putting the car in the middle of the tarmac and the grayish tarmac on the right side. So you want to put this white line in the middle of the car, breaking a straight line, it won't get an off track. Even if you use a bit more, still won't be an off track. The off track that you see was from the previous lap. So when we go into this corner, we want to keep a tight line around here, but be mindful that you can easily slow down the car too much. So if you find yourself going a bit wider on the first apex, but then cutting the second apex a bit more aggressively under throttle, you will see that your delta most of the time will also be green so uh, it, you either keep a tight line with a lot of trail braking like this and then you put the power down and hit the second curb on on the head or you go a bit wider and you will be a bit earlier on power but you have to brake longer without that much trail braking so you have to brake longer in the higher percentages but not longer in the lower percentages what's gonna be key in this corner though is cutting this second apex like that like that take take all the curve and then when you go on power stay on power 100 percent throttle this is going to give you a good good exit now this corner right here is all about being patient on entry barely touching the brakes to rotate the car and then when you go on the exit at the curb to put the power down zero 100 percent it's all about the exit in this corner and the next one as well especially in the next one because the straight is a bit longer so using all the track to open up now as a reference i'm I'm braking and turning whenever this triangle, this white triangle on the curb is in front of my car, like right now. It was the same for the previous corner as well. Same braking reference there with the curb and the triangle. Now, when we go into this corner, notice that I'm trail braking in the lower 10 percentages. This is gonna be key. You don't want to slam the brakes. You just want to barely touch the brakes and then put the power down nice, nice and early. This is gonna give you that good, good exit. And notice here on the throttle input, you want to go 0, 100 real quick. You don't want to build it up too much. For the next corner, reference for braking is this white line before number two. I'm braking at the white line and I'm trying to get as close as I can to this red sausage curve. What's gonna be important here into this corner is to trail brake longer. So notice on my brake shape, I brake initially, but then still trailing, still on the brakes. And at the exit of the curve, at the end of the curve, again, when you see this white triangle around here, that, that's when you go on power. If you're gonna go earlier on power, meaning if you're gonna brake in a way that you're gonna brake maybe harder, but not for longer, it won't work. The car won't rotate enough. So you have to trail brake a lot into this corner, specifically into this one. Now, the next one is a blind corner. I'm using number two as a reference for braking and turning. I don't see the, the corner yet, but I don't want to brake too hard. I'm braking less than 20% and I'm trying to get very close to this red sausage curb. However, make sure that you're gonna turn a bit later, otherwise you will meet this gravel trap. So I was very close to take the gravel trap. You have to turn just a bit later. So you're braking at number two, but then blink of an eye, you're turning left. For the next corner right here, you brake on the beginning of the crest and you won't brake that hard. Whenever you go at the crest, you have to release a bit of brakes. That you, that's what you see in my brake shape and then apply it harder. So it's hard brake, release and hard brake again. Uh, kind of like this shape in second gear, trying to cut as much as I can this curve and on the exit, I'm already back on power. Don't go into first gear, it will over slow the car. Now, here's where my mistakes starting to uh, appear. And this is how 
you can lose half a second in the lap. First things first, you want to bring the car a bit more to the right side. And when you're turning into this corner, at this point, you should be already back on throttle because you have a lot more space on the exit. So you go all the way to the right side, you barely blimp the brakes, you see the front tires pointing because we want to go very close to this curve to cut it like that, but you should be earlier on throttle. Look at all the space that was left here, so this is like two tenths. Now in the next corner, you want to use this curve to open up, so you can use it a bit more just because whenever you're braking, you're not braking that hard, so you will still have the braking performance, you won't lose performance while braking on this curb and you have to brake a bit later. The braking and turning point should be at the white triangle. So almost around here to initiate the brake and the turning. You want to be close to this red sausage curb and put the power down like that. But for the last corner, what you want to do is firstly, do not use this curve under braking. This is a corner in which you're gonna brake a lot harder than in the previous one. And it can make your braking less efficient, which happens for me right now where I'm using the curb. So you don't want to do that. Notice that I instantly had to drop the brakes when I felt it. So instead of that, you will hold constant pressure while going into this corner without using this curb. You will go to first gear and it's important to cut more than that. You can cut all the way to the red sausage curb without getting an off track. Because on the exit, you want to use much, much, much more space. So right now I'm almost pushing the car to the right. It want, you want to naturally the car to drift off the right side. Small detail here. You don't want to bring the car immediately to the left. You will scrub speed. Instead, you will go straight like this. This, won't, this isn't an off track. And then slowly bring it back to the left. And in short, that's a lap of Laguna Seca. I think you will improve it much more if you will apply uh, the small tips that I give you here. And I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.